Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So tomorrow, which is the 28th of October, 2014 that is, the PlayStation 4 will get an update on its firmware. I think this is version 2.0 or something like that. And because it's a relatively, you know, big update on what they're doing, and it might put, you know, Sony's PlayStation, you know, relatively ahead of the game in the console war, they might single-handedly win it because of this update, right? Because of how important it is, I'm going to quickly do a rundown on it, you know, the day before, so people with a PS4 know. So, just the small things first, you know, it'll help YouTube integration, stuff like that. It'll upgrade the, well not upgrade, but make the voice commands, which you can do with the PS camera, or whatever it's called, it'll make that better, which is always good, you know. Voice controls are sometimes cool. And it'll also allow dashboard themes, which is really sick, because I know the PS3 could do that. And hopefully they allow you to choose your own, And but they might limit it to only a few things which you might be able to buy or something like that. But hopefully they'll allow proper customization where you can add your own images or something like that. But the main thing is something called PlayStation Share Play or something like that. I think it's called PS Share Now, or something along those lines, right? If I say the name wrong, I'll just put it on the screen now. Anyway, what what it does is that it allows you to pretty much do what Steam allows, except much better. So, um, you won't necessarily need PlayStation Plus to be able to do this, but for some of the better features, you will, obviously, because Sony aren't that dumb. So, what you can do is that you can easily share what you're playing to another person so they can watch you play it, right? A friends list, as I'm guessing. It might be anyone, but I'm just going to say friends list for now. Don't quote me on that, though. So anyone on your friends list can see what you're doing, right? And they don't need a PS Plus account for that. So they can, you know, just easily see what you're playing. If you're like, oh, this is a really cool thing I'm playing right now, they can just watch it if they want to, right? What the, what you can do, and the better function, which I seem to think will easily make PS4 a, an amazing console, is that, let's say you've got a game that doesn't have online multiplayer, but it does have local co-op. That local co-op, you can play with a friend, and he doesn't have to have the game. All he has to do is have a P PlayStation Plus subscription. That single-handedly is amazing. That outranks the Steam thing, in my opinion, by far. If they do it properly, that is. Right? So, think about it. All the games which aren't, you know, multiplayer online are now multiplayer online because they've taken the local co-op and they've allowed someone else to be able to play it. Which is really sick. Which means that PlayStation is becoming more the multiplayer console because if you think of the last gen xbox was the multiplayer thing because they had xbox live playstation not that much for multiplayer playstation was mainly there for you know single player really good titles but it seems like what sony's doing now is is trying to pretty much outplay the xbox because the xbox one is meant to be all in one machine and what sony uh, well apparently are doing are trying to make their playstation 4 an all in one without you know, saying it obviously is, right? Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Feel free to share this episode. If you enjoy the video, leave a like down below. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.